Hi there, it's Commander Davis, and today we're having a look at version 2 of my uh, joystick map. There's been uh, quite substantial changes on the back end, um, although most people won't see that. Uh, a few changes on uh, where actual buttons are, although nothing too radical, I've just tidied a lot of things up. So we'll start off with the point of view hat on the stick. This still controls uh, head look, but by default it's now on. Uh, previously I had it off by default because my mouse, uh, which is quite sensitive, would knock it around all over the place. I've disabled the mouse from controlling head look at all. Um, so we can now have head look permanently on. To reset, shift and up on the point of view hat. If you want to turn it off, alt and up on the point of view hat will disable it. Alt and up will turn it back on again. Um, if you are using a Oculus Rift, you can press Shift and Alt and up on the map and that will reset your Oculus Rift. Um, you'll have to excuse me while I'm doing this, this is a fairly new map so I am having to refer to a cheat sheet from time to time. Uh, a few other things that are on this uh, head look, uh, point of view hat now. If we press Shift and Left, that's a screenshot and Shift and Right is a high resolution screenshot. My graphics card goes mental while it's rendering that. That's done. Um, there is also, if we press Alt and down the dev camera. Not so great while we're in uh, the station, but you can have a look around. So Alt and down to turn that back off again. And if I press Shift and Alt and down, that's a personal mapping uh, which I use to enable and disable the video recording software I use. It's mapped to Alt and F9. Uh, you can either ignore it or you can set uh, that to anything you want. Um, if you have another application uh, or key binding you want to put to Alt F9, you can feel free to use that. So I think that's that for the point of view hat. Um, it does work in all eight directions when you're doing the head look, so you can look diagonally up and down. Okay, so next up we'll take a look at menu navigation, which is controlled uh, through the throttle. You still use the hat switch to get to your target panel, system panel, radar panel. Um, and then up is uh, UI select. Um, generally this up is used to clear whatever panel you're looking at or just to give a slightly wild, a wider uh, field of view if uh, your field of view has been uh, pulled in while you're flying. I've added some um, shift functions to this. So if we go uh, shift and left, it's the galaxy map. Shift and right, it's the system map. Shift and up is the comms menu and by default the um, text entry box is not enabled. You can select that using UI select which is the left hand button on the throttle. If you then press alt and the left hand button that's escape just to get you out of that particular box. Um, and shift and down on the castle hat on the throttle is uh, muting your microphone if you're playing wings. Navigating around the UI is now entirely handled by the point of view hat on the throttle. So up and down is UI up and down. I press the left hand button on the throttle to select. If you go uh, shift left and right, that's UI left and right. And if you go just left and right, that's UI and next and previous tab. Uh, the reason why I've got them set up this way is because it generally uh, makes more sense for most of the screens to be able to move up and down and switch between tabs. And then if you need to do selection within it, press shift and do the selections within the panel. It's a little bit odd um, when you're in the uh, home screen. If you press uh, shift and um, left hand button, that's your way back. So here it's a little odd, um, but you just press shift to navigate between the three uh, windows. Um, I need to uh, pick up a little bit of uh, cargo. Let's go into the commodities market. Just pick up some consumer technology. And we are all good to go, I think. Uh, yep. So let's return to surface, and while I'm doing that, Just lock my destination. Cool. Quick look to make sure there's nothing above me. Flight controls remain the same as the previous map. 
Um, there are no overrides on them because they uh, need to be available at all times. So if we launch the thumbstick, it gives you vertical and lateral thrust. The throttle controls speed and then roll and pitch are handled on the stick. Feed myself through the uh, entry. Get myself clear. The uh, left hand hat on the stick is used for your and then there are digital overrides for throttle setting, which will override the analog throttle. So pressing forward is 100% and putting backwards is minus 100% throttle. It tends to be useful if you are docking and just want to uh, blip the throttle forward and back just to align yourself over the pad. Um, if you want analog control over the throttle um, with uh, negative throttle settings, so 0 to minus 100%, pull up on the front hat on the throttle and that will reverse thrust to whatever setting you've got the throttle. Like so. There is now a setting, if you press ALT and uh, right on the front hat, it will turn the x-axis on the stick to your. Uh, currently, these buttons are not mapped to roll. A future update may change those to roll if you change the stick setting. And again, ALT and uh, right changes that, so it's back to roll. You can also do ALT and left on this front button to turn the throttle off completely. Um, this is useful because I often find I get drift on the throttle if I've been playing for a while and haven't recalibrated. And I can't quite zero it. Um, if you want to be stationary, um, you can just turn the throttle off. You can then a little bit of control using the thrust forward, thrust backwards. Boost is forwards. Oh, let's get gear. Gear is uh, down on uh, this hat, same as it was in the previous maps. So boost is forwards. As before, shift and down on this is uh, cargo scoop. There's a new mapping on the down button on this throttle. If you press shift and alt and down, which I'm not going to do, it will eject all your cargo. Um, otherwise this hat is actually now reserved for uh, wingman control, so back is select wingman 1, up is select wingman 2, forwards is select wingman 3, and then shift and up is uh, wingman nav um, lock, so that your uh, hyperdrive is slaved to your wings. So that's most of the flight control sorted. Um, if we now look to power management, uh, power management still on uh, this hat on the throttle, but in back uh, equalizes your power, so two pips and everything. Um, left is systems, up is engine, right is weapons. As before, there are um, shift functions for macros. Press left will put full power into systems and the remainder into engines. Right will put full power into weapons and the remainder into engines, and up will put full power into engines and the remainder into systems. This tends to be how I fly most of the time. Uh, I don't have weapons out, so there's no point putting any power in weapons. We've gained some more functions on these now, so that ALT and LEFT is full power in systems with one pip in each of engines and weapons, and it matches as we go around. ALT and FORWARDS is full power into engines with one pip into systems and weapons, and ALT and RIGHT is full power into weapons and one pip in the systems and engines. And then there's SHIFT ALT settings, which is three pips into uh, the direction and one and a half pips in the remaining two, so systems is LEFT, engines is UP, and weapons is RIGHT. Uh, the down uh, direction now has uh, some uh, settings, uh, some templates as well. So if I press shift and down, that puts one pip into systems and uh, two and a half pips into engines and weapons. Alt and down do the same for engines with one pip and two and a half in systems and weapons. And if I press shift and alt and down, one pip in weapons and two and a half into systems and engines. So it just gives a nice um, array of uh, settings that you can pick from um, with uh, ease from your uh, from your stick. 
we now head off and uh, we have left the no-fire zone. So we pull the uh, weapons out. So uh, primary weapons are trigger. Secondary weapons are shift and trigger. And alt and trigger will fire both primary and secondary. Shift and alt will also do primary and secondary. If you want to cycle between fire groups, it's left and right on the uh, hat on the front of the throttle. If you want to uh, retract your hard points, it's the top button on the throttle. Countermeasures are fired using um, the right hand button on the stick. It's uh, chaff for um, unmodified, so just pressing as chaff. Shift and right, let me just check that, is shield cell and then alt and this button is deploy heatsink. Uh, shift and alt will also do deploy heatsink. If we do shift, alt and the top button, we engage silent running. And then shift and alt toggles that off again. So I think that's covered. Oh, one more thing on the stick. The scroll wheel on the side now does your scanner range. So I think that's everything. Um, we've covered point of view functions, uh, screenshots and camera controls on the point of view hat. Targeting we haven't done. We head back towards the station. Targeting really hasn't changed much um, from the previous maps, it's just gained a few more functions. So, target ahead is up. Um, we won't have any uh, hostiles, but closest hostile is uh, back. Left and right is previous and next hostile. And then if we press shift, left and right is previous and next ship. And up and down with shift is previous and next subsystem. Um, as we get closer to the station, we might be able to find some ships to have a look at that. If we press um, Alt and um, up, that targets your wingman's target. And Alt and down is the next uh, system in your uh, uh, in your route. So if you're uh, doing a, uh, a multiple uh, system jump, you can just select your next point in your route by pressing Alt and down. So I think that covers everything on the stick. We've covered point of view, we've covered power management, we've covered uh, targeting, firing countermeasures, uh, ship control, scanner, um, and hard points, and um, silent running. So the remaining controls on uh, the throttle, if we press uh, the right hand button on the throttle, that turns flight assist off while we've got it pressed. Obviously middle button is alt. Um, this is uh, UI select, UI back, escape or system menu depending whether you're pressing uh, it unmodified which is UI select. Shift which is uh, UI back, escape is uh, alt and press the button and system menu is uh, shift and alt and that button. Uh, we've covered panel navigation, we've covered moving through the panels, wingman control and uh, cargo and um, landing gear, lateral and horizontal thrust. So all that remains is there's a few more functions on uh, this hat here. Uh, we've really looked at uh, fire groups, boost and reverse, reverse throttle. Um, if we press shift, as you just saw, we can do um, supercruise or hyperdrive. Shift and forward is supercruise, shift and back is uh, hyperdrive. Um, we've already looked at the uh, overrides if we go alt left and right uh, on this. So turn the throttle off with alt and left. You're with alt and right. Let's just check if there's anything else on... Ah oh yes, if we go shift and alt and left, it shows the FPS count. And shift and alt and right gives the uh, bandwidth usage. 
And then if we go Alt down, that's your lights. And Alt and up is rotational correction. And I think that is the entire map. I think we've covered everything. Hopefully that's uh, been of use for people who are using the map. Um, like I say, it's a fairly large change to the back end. Not such a huge change to uh, what's been used. But it still takes a little bit of getting used to. There's a cheat sheet on the GitHub um, repository, which you can print out. It now spans uh, five pages if you include the uh, Galaxy Map overrides. To be honest, I just use the map in the Galaxy uh, the mouse, sorry, in the Galaxy Map. There's a full write-up in GitHub, and if you check my blog, um, you will also see if there are any updates. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully this is useful for you. Cheers.